it's going to be your July 15th to the 31st reading. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. My name is Harley and this is 13 Signs Tarot. If you're new here, I do hope you that you will subscribe. I'm sure that you will like the reading and I also love to hear from you all in the comments. Taurus, I want to thank you all so much for your support, your likes, your shares, your comments. It really does mean a lot to me and it really has been helping my channel grow a lot, okay? Um, this is a general reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. It can also be applied to the Jupiter sign. I've been seeing that lately as well. Um, just, just remember to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This also could be applying to cross watchers who may be watching for Taurus. So make sure that you reverse the energy, okay? So this is going to be specifically about your person, Taurus. We're going to be looking at how they're thinking and feeling about you for the rest of July, okay? If you do need a personal reading for your own situation, please make sure that you check out the links in the description box, okay? There are links to my video readings, my text message readings. Uh, I also do uh, phone readings, and I also am offering natal chart readings, okay? There is going to be a class um, for candle manifestation. If you want to learn about candle work, um, you can go to my Instagram. There's a lot about my candle work and how, you know, I've been successful with manifesting through candle work. So if you're interested in that, please check out the link for that. The class is uh, filling up fast. I actually had to open up another class. Um, so if you're interested in that, please make sure that you check that out, okay? So we have true love here. Wow, this is a romance of a lifetime. So your person feels like this is a true love, Taurus, okay? Now, I don't know if you feel that way, but your person does, okay? So let's see what's going on for Taurus. This is my deck. If you're interested in purchasing the 13 Sides Tarot Oracle, make sure you check out the uh, description box as well, okay? So we have hubby material. Some of you are dealing with another earth sign, okay? This is the King of Pentacles for me. Um, because I made the deck, right? <laughs> but uh, this could be you. Again, this person seeing you as stable, husband material, someone feeling like you are the one for them um, and that you're their true love. Wow, wifey material at the bottom of the deck. Oh my God, guys, I'm about to get emotional. I've never seen this, okay? Wow, Empress energy, come through Taurus. Come through Taurus on your own reading. Yes, okay? So uh, Queen of Pentacles also can be Empress energy. So this also can be the Emperor technically. But yeah, this is Taurus energy again. Could be Capricorn, Libra, Aries, Virgo, or Leo you could be dealing with or have those transits heavy in your chart. So you, so bottom line, this person is looking to marry your ass, okay? Now, whether or not you want to do that with them is up to you, Taurus. Some of you are definitely dealing with another Earth sign. I'm getting Virgo very strongly, okay, or Capricorn. So let's see what's going on. We have, let's see the highest or how this person's affecting you, okay? Why are they in your life? A lot of people, I know I have my, I've been questioning a lot why people are in my life. And the only time I question that is when I don't have their natal chart, which happens sometimes, unfortunately. People don't want to come up off that birth time. But I get it eventually, okay? So we have the blue flame, spontaneous awaken, activation, integration time. So this person is putting you through a spiritual awakening. Of course, this person could be your other half, your divine counterpart, but this person is awakening you. You're getting a lot of spiritual downloads. You're actually shifting a lot in your life. So I'm hearing some career changes for a lot of you or upgrades in your career. So you guys may be really manifesting at a high rate in your careers or your spiritual path, okay? We have Horus energy, protection, loyalty, safety, trust. Again, that's like the sun god, kind of like raw energy. So you could be dealing with a Leo. But again, this is about this person seeing you as someone that they can have a stable relationship with. Uh, Leo represents authoritative figures like the father. So again, they see you as a very strong force, whether you're a male or a woman. A lot of you guys are Vedic uh, Aries. So you have those dominant um, traits in your energy, whether you're a woman or a man, okay? So let's see what this person is thinking and feeling about my Taurus people. We have the Eight of Cups. Okay, so this person feels like you've walked away from them, Taurus. There's been some distance between you and this person. There may be actual physical distance, but I'm I'm kind of seeing um, this is more about you walking away from this person or there being some separation. You might even have ghosted this person. I'm definitely saying that you may have just kind of stopped talking to this person. We have the Queen of Cups. This person is all in their feelings about you. Cancer energy for me, but this person could be a Pisces or Scorpio as well. Somebody's woke. I'm seeing the third, um, the, uh, why can't I, say? the evil eye, but there's another word for it. And I don't want to use evil eye, but yeah, I'm seeing this energy. So somebody is maybe a reader or psychically gifted or going to a psychic, but the Queen of Cups 
uh, this person feels psychically connected to you and they have a lot of emotion. The Queen of Cups is willing to give her emotion as well. So this person may want to express how they feel to you, but they are definitely in love with you with that Queen of Cups energy. For those of you who are asking, because I just heard someone asking me um, what uh, deck this is. This is the Tattoo Tarot, okay? I know it's probably called something specifically, but the Tattoo Tarot is what it's pretty much named, okay? Um, it's very beautiful deck. So let's see how you're influencing this person's life. How are my Taurus influencing this person's life? Please keep in mind there will be an extended for this where we go over August with this person. So we'll be looking at August and there also is an 18 plus extended where you'll look at your next sexual encounter with this person. Whether you've had sex with them or not, you can be looking at their um, desires. That is also going to be in the description box on my Patreon. Okay, I forgot to mention that at the beginning of the video. All right, so we have the Ace of Cups. How you're influencing this person's life. Taurus, what did y'all do? Some of y'all did candle magic on this person, not in a bad way but maybe to kind of move things along. But yeah, this person sees you as woke too. Some of you are readers. So this person sees you as spiritually gifted and some of you may have done some love work, okay? Or you're thinking about it, but I definitely see that even if you didn't, this person just really wants to come in and communicate. The Knight of Swords, this is somebody who's like, I'm getting, um, what is it? What do they call it? Head over heels in love? Head over heels in love? Like someone who just has to tell you how they feel. Like they are, um, wanting to rush in and communicate and they and they this may be a person who's usually pretty proud or usually pretty good with their words or very calculated in the way that they speak but there's something here about this person that's just gushing like they just can't wait to tell you how they feel about you okay this person could be a gemini for some of you let's see what the eight of cups is about let's clarify this eight of cups please let's see we have the this is, I want to say the seven of cups, but let me make sure. No, this is the six of cups. Yeah, this is the six of cups and it's in reverse. So this person may have felt like you could be done with a Scorpio definitely with that six of cups, but this person may feel like you walked away from them because of something that happened in the past. Like they may feel like there was bad memories between you two or something went wrong in the connection. This person didn't treat you right in the past, okay? There was a missed opportunity where this person could have been way more better to you in the way that they behaved and the way that they expressed their love. Maybe they didn't express their love in the past or they, you know, kind of walked away from you. This is someone not treating you with care, okay? So they have bad memories and they feel like you walked away because they didn't treat you well, okay? We have the Page of Cups, wow, on top of the Queen of Cups. So this person definitely wants to apologize. They definitely want to talk to you, okay? They definitely want to talk to you. Some of you, this person's a Pisces because of the koi fish there, but they want to talk to you. They want to express how they feel. They want to apologize. And then we have the temperance card for how you're influencing in this person's life. So the Ace of Cups, this person is bursting at the seams with emotions. All these cups, even in the temperance card, there's cups. Could be done with a Sagittarius. This person feels like it's not the right time to approach you, though, for some reason. Or I am getting that this person is, um, here we go with that damn Elliot. That's his name. I think it's Elliot Yamin. I keep forgetting to look up this song. But it's Baby, I Will Wait For You. That song, Elliot, I think his name is Elliot Yamin. I'm pretty sure his first name is Elliot. But anyway... He didn't make it big, but he, he should have. He had like a little John B vibe to him. I think he just went in the wrong lane. I think he should have came out real strong R&B. He would have probably did good because he can actually sing. But anyway, this person feels like there's, if they have to wait for to have this new beginning with you, then they, then they will. With the death card at the bottom of the deck, definitely a Scorpio that some of you are dealing with. But maybe they have to wait for a specific ending in their life before they can have this new beginning with you. So this person could already be married or they have children with someone else maybe. And they're waiting on an ending to happen first. For some of you, you may be married and this is someone who wants you to get divorced. They're waiting on you to get divorced so that you guys can be together, okay? Because this person sees you as their happily ever after with the damn hubby material we had the, the wifey material we got true love up in here okay so while you're being activated Taurus and minding your business and doing what you're doing this person is plotting and waiting for the chance to express how they really feel I feel like this person didn't tell you how they truly felt in the past and that was you know along with their probably not uh positive behavior we'll just put it that way we don't want to talk too bad about the cross watchers because they be getting sensitive even though this ain't even their goddamn reading but you know it ain't my business it ain't my business what people do so 
So let's see some advice for Taurus in regards to this person. What's advice that Spirit has for Taurus? What advice does Taurus uh, does the Spirit have for Taurus? The King of Swords. So to keep detaching from this person, it's working. If you're focused on your business and your um, finances and you're in the place of kind of being detached, that's what's leading this person back to you, especially if they're an air sign or a Sagittarius, okay? So keep focusing on your business. Um, yeah, a lot of you are focused on wealth and stability, like building a business or something. Um, but also, if this person does approach you, it's not that you don't need to talk to them, but you do need to keep your emotions in check, okay? Don't, this person is now emotional probably the way that you were in the past. It's like the roles have changed, okay? That's what I'm getting. And you need to keep that energy, okay? Keep that same energy towards if you want this to keep manifesting, because I feel like it is. So let's see what this person's next actions are towards you. We're going to look at that in the extended, this person's next actions towards you. I'm seeing Gemini here, uh, Aquarius, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Libra, Aries was here, Virgo, Leo, a lot of different signs popped up for you, Taurus. What's this person's next actions towards Taurus? Their next action, Spirit. I'm going to keep shuffling. I want a card to like pop out face down. There we go. It did. <laughs> it's like we're going to do what we want to do when we want to do it. I love these cards though. They, they shuffle so nicely. Okay, so that's their next actions towards you. We're going to use the Everyday Witch Tarot. Um, to pull your August cards to see what's going to happen with this person in August. We're also going to pull more Oracle cards in the extended. So if you are interested in that, check that out. There's also going to be an 18 plus where we talk about your next sexual encounter with this person. If you're already on my Patreon, you'll get that reading. No problem. It'll be uploaded to Patreon. But if you're not on my Patreon yet, you may want to check it out in the description box. Okay. I love you, Taurus. Please make sure to show me love. I will show you all love and I will see you in the extended. Okay. Comment, like, and share my videos. All right. And anything else that you need from me is in the description box personals um the candle magic class all of that okay i'll talk to you all later bye